Spider-Man 2 is almost upon us, so I am here today to break down everything you need to know in preparation for your return to New York City. Hello there everyone, it's Aiden here from Push Square, and from gameplay features to story details, here are 32 things you need to know about Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 is a third-person action-adventure sequel that continues the story of both Peter Parker and Miles Morales, who appeared in 2018's Marvel Spider-Man and 2020's Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. It has been developed by Insomniac Games, the team behind the previous entries, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and the future PS5 release of Wolverine. Spider-Man 2 releases exclusively on the PlayStation 5 on October 20th. There are three editions of the game, the Standard, Digital Deluxe and Collector's Editions. The Standard just includes your game, the Digital Deluxe comes with five unique spider suits each for both Peter and Miles, additional photo mode items, two additional skill points and the pre-order incentives. Lastly, the Collector's Edition comes with all of those previous perks, plus a steelbook display case and a 19-inch Peter, Miles and Venom statue. These editions come in at the following prices. Spider-Man 2 also ushers in the first limited edition PlayStation 5, which comes with the digital code for the game, the Spider-Man 2 themed DualSense and the PS5 Spider-Man 2 cover plates. You can buy this all as one bundle, but the cover plates and the DualSense can both be bought separately. Ok, so let's start things out with the story, which picks up roughly 10 months after the events of Miles Morales and of course will still be set in New York, but more on that later. Both Peter and Miles are struggling to balance their double lives, with Peter trying to manage his relationship with MJ and hold down his job, and Miles is continually putting off his college application. To make matters worse, Craven the Hunter has arrived in New York and is setting his sights on a worthy opponent. This means he'll be hunting down the various heroes and villains of New York City, along with, of course, the two Spider-Men. But he is not the only new element in the Spider-Men's lives, as Harry Osborn is back. Peter's best friend, who was missing from the first game and revealed to be kept in a tank with a certain ominous black fluid, will play a major part in the story and of course link into that second potential big bad of the game, Venom. We really do not know much about Venom at this point, we've seen him show up briefly in trailers and of course you've got that big collector statue and while typically Eddie Brock would be Venom, some of the trailers hint that Harry Osborn may actually become Venom in this incarnation. Peter will come into contact with the symbiote during the campaign and from the trailers we can see that this will impact his personality, sort of negating the friendly part of the friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man shtick. Another major villain that has been confirmed to make an appearance is Lizard, aka Dr. Connors, who also appears to play a big part in the story. Other returning characters from the previous games are Mary Jane, Mel's mum Rio, and Miles' best friend Genki. Ok, so let's break down some of the changes and improvements coming to the Spider-Man gameplay experience and that big map of New York. For one, you're going to be able to play as both Miles and Peter Parker in this game, compared to the previous titles which predominantly stuck to one or the other. You'll actually be able to switch between the characters whenever you're exploring the open world, and the switch is near instantaneous and you'll typically catch the characters you're switching to in the middle of some activity, very similar to GTA 5. The main story levels will have a designated character so you can't play any mission as either Miles or Peter. You will be able to work through side content as whoever you wish, but there will also be specific side content to each character. Insomniac has reportedly put in a lot of effort to add narrative elements into the side content, so while you can still expect the usual onslaught of crimes to thwart and collectibles to uncover, you'll also have some nice narrative beats with side characters in there too. Additionally, all of the side content will no longer be marked with a simple icon on the map from the get-go. Instead, you're going to have to explore New York and head towards the neon-like signs which appear as you get close, making side content discovery a lot more natural. Sticking with exploration, New York has undergone some massive changes and will now be roughly double the size of the map from Spider-Man and Miles Morales. While the main area of Manhattan is still here, although a bit denser with activities and discoveries now, Spider-Man 2 features the all-new areas of Queens, Coney Island and Brooklyn. Getting to these new locations will also be quicker than ever. 
Web swinging is largely the same, but you have this super cool new ability to glide across New York with web wings. These will let you travel further and faster, even more so when you spread your wings in one of the map's many wind tunnels. But if you can't be bothered swinging across an entire city, then you'll be glad to know that the fast travel system returns. This time though it has a super snazzy transition that instantly transports you to your chosen district, really highlighting why this is exclusively on PS5. It's getting a lot of use out of that SSD. On to some combat then, which has seen some expansions since the last game. So, since both Spider-Man are playable and Miles Morales has electricity and invisibility powers, how are the two Spider-Men balanced? Well, with the introduction of the symbiote suit, Peter eventually gains the Black Spider Suit, which comes with its own host of symbiote powers. From explosive blasts to group grabbing tendrils, symbiote combat as Peter looks brutal. On top of his symbiote suit, Peter will also have access to his mechanized spider arms, which will act as the default loadout until the symbiote suit comes into play. Miles will have two distinct colorings for his bioelectrical venom powers, which could apply to different enemy types or attack types. Both Peter's mechanical powers and Miles' electrical powers will come with their own skill trees, so there's customization to be had with either character. Additionally, there will be a parry mechanic not featured in the previous games, so it isn't just dodging and punching now. A new webline gadget will allow for a stealthier approach during missions. Before you were forced to perch upon specific points, but now you'll be able to angle a webline between pretty much anything to allow for more room for takedowns. Both characters will reportedly have access to new combat gadgets as well, with some adjustments to the old ones, like the iconic web shooters doubling their capacity and increasing reload types. So wrapping things up with some random wee facts about the game now, Spider-Man 2 is roughly the same length as the first game, which averaged around 17 hours for the main campaign, about 25 for both the main campaign and side content, and a little over 30 for a full completionist approach. Different spider suits will return in this game, but this time there will be over 65 suits spanning the comics, movies, and some of Insomniac's own designs. Like many other Sony games, Spider-Man 2 will bring with it a host of accessibility features, like the ability to slow down combat. And finally, while it was long rumoured, Spider-Man 2 will not feature co-op. And those are the 32 things you needed to know about Spider-Man 2. Drop a comment down below to let me know how excited you are for this game. Is it a day one purchase? Are you holding off? Let me know. I know I'll be excited for that October 20th release date. Keep an eye on the channel for our full Spider-Man 2 review and maybe subscribe if you're looking for more PlayStation video content. Anyway, I appreciate you as always. Thank you for watching and until next time, I've been Aiden and this has been Push Square.